everybody, this is Crystal. So, um, I've been asked um, by a bunch of different people to do like a short video and show what kind of yarns I use, I guess myself, um, or work well for spring and summer projects. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that real quick for all those who asked me. Okay. And I do have a tutorial for this hat. Um, I believe it's number 570. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. It's made with Vanna, Lion Brand's Vanna's Choice yarn. Um, it tells all about it in the tutorial, but I'm pretty sure it's 570. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my camera around and I'm going to show you from the yarn that's in my room because more than likely the yarn that's in my room is what I'm going to be using to make my baby dresses and my summer, summer top, you know, baby dresses for summer, summer tops, summer articles. So I'm going to be using the yarn that's on my show. So instead of driving to Michael's and showing you the yarn there, I'm just going to do it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the camera around real quick. Now remember, I just want to put this out there. These are just the yarns that I would normally use. It does not mean that you have that you have to use them and you probably may not even like the ones that I choose. It's just, every, you know, a lot of people wanted to know what I use for spring and summer. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the, the kind of stuff I use. Just one second. Okay, well, some of these yarns you may have never heard of, and some of them you might have heard of. Um, when you are crocheting for spring and summer, you want to use, I think the best things to use are, um, I like to use cotton yarns, and I like to use cotton blend yarns. I like to use bamboo yarns. Um, I like to use... Um, I even use acrylic. I, you know, I don't have a problem using acrylic. When you use acrylic, though, you just have to have the right stitch when you're working a project. So I'll go over that a little bit. But here are some of the cottons that I will be using, uh, what I use in the spring and the summer. Now, this, when you're choosing a cotton yarn for a garment, you want to make sure that it's soft. Some cottons aren't soft at all. And some are extremely soft. This one is one of my favorites. This comes from Hobium. It's their Mar Marifal Bella Cotton. It's a 100% Pima Cotton, which is super soft. And it is a four-weight yarn. So this makes great for garments. Another one that works well is from Hobium also. This is their uh, Gazelle XL Baby Cotton, which is a 100% four-weight uh, cotton. It... I already made one dress out of it and I'll probably make baby dress out of it. I'll probably make a lot more, but you don't have to use it just for, you know, just because it says baby don't mean you got to use it for baby. Works great for shawls or anything of the sort like that. Um, another one is Angora. Now you would think Angora would be itchy and not good for spring. Um, in my opinion, I don't find it itchy. I find it extremely soft. And this is a lightweight 3 Angora. This comes from Hobium also. Given the right stitch, a nice lacy stitch, this will make a beautiful draped drape for a garment. It's nice and lightweight, so it'll work really well. And that's something that you'll probably see me use. Um, and here's some bamboo that also I get from Hobium, which is a lightweight three 100% bamboo yarn. Excellent drape, excellent sheen, very gorgeous for any garment, super, super soft. You don't have to use these brands of yarn. These are just the brands that I know about and the ones that I choose to use. Um, going over here. Now, um, I don't have a problem using acrylic. I mean, a lot of people are going to be like, oh my gosh, did she just say acrylic in the spring and summer. Yes, I did. Now, there's a reason behind my madness. Now, um, I don't have a problem using any acrylic yarn. I have some that I prefer to use over others. You just got to use the right stitch in the right, right project. Okay, we'll go with mandala. I like to use mandala for spring and, spring and summer. I use it during the winter, too. We all know it's a 100% acrylic, and it is a lightweight three yarn, and it's a very very thin lightweight three given a nice lacy stitch mandala makes gorgeous shawls for the spring and summer if you make it nice and lacy 
<clears throat> it'll give it a it'll make it nice and airy and very drapey it's a beautiful beautiful yarn i used to actually hate mandala because how thin it was but i just can't the colors i of mandala just draw me to them um i love mandala's colors so much that i get past them being such a lightweight yarn and they just make such gorgeous projects so Mandel used to be on my hate list, but now it's on my love list. <laughs> so, um, now, uh, like stuff like latte cakes, you'd probably want to keep that more for fall and winter, given that it's so, uh, you know, fuzzy. You could probably use it for maybe something in the spring issue if you use an extremely lacy stitch, but that's probably something I will keep for fall and winter definitely this is the burnett velvet you definitely probably don't want to use that for anything that you're going to wear during the spring and summer i think that's it's 100 polyester it's going to be extremely um warm on you so um this is the new mandala ombre of course i would use it it is a four weight mandala and i will use it during the spring and summer as long as i use a lacy stitch because the lacier stitch you use the more lightweight the garment's going to be and the better of a drape it's going to have. So even though it's a 100% acrylic yarn, a four weight at that, I won't have a problem using it as long as I carefully choose uh, my project and my stitch to make it match the yarn. Um, another one that's very great for spring and summer is this is from Hobium. This is a, um, a mercerized 100% cotton. Mercerized cotton is very this one's this is a four weight it's a nice lightweight cotton and it has a very good drape mercerized cotton is known for lasting a very very long time so you know you see those uh, heirloom baby dresses maybe baptism dresses that are passed down from generation to generation most generally those are made out of um, 100 percent mercerized cotton thread because they last so long they can be washed over and over and over and keep its shape and keep its color that's just kind of what they're known for um but it is a nice mercerized cotton's a nice if i can't say that they're all soft because they're not um this particular brand this is from hobium is um it's a nice uh mercerized 100 percent cotton but I'm sure you can find other ones too that are nice and soft. You just have, you know, you just need to look for them um, and fill them and make sure they're soft. But uh, they have an excellent drape, um, very airy, given a very, you know, nice stitch. Makes a very, very long lasting, gorgeous garment that you can pass down from generation to generation. And even if you don't want to pass it down, I mean, it just makes something that's going to really last a long time it's really going to hold its shape it's really going to keep its color for a very long time so it's 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 a very nice yarn um shawna ball one of my favorite yarns lots of people hate shawna ball but i absolutely love shawna ball now it is a cotton acrylic blend works beautifully for spring and summer i prefer to use this during the spring and summer than i do in the winter even though it's a four weight it's an extremely thin four weight give it a lacy stitch and it's absolutely gorgeous it has a beautiful drape and the colors are beautiful too so definitely something this is definitely a yarn that i do not use too much in the winter i usually mainly use it for spring and summer um let's see what else we got here um caron cakes are 100 percent acrylic they are a four weight yarn the regular big cakes and then the regular caron cakes i probably won't use them uh for the summer um more than likely i will use them i'm these would be more of a winter yarn for me actually these are uh, acrylic wool blend you can use them for the summer i mean don't get me wrong you can but it's like um you have to have an 
the correct stitch for it. You know, I for me, it's something I would keep more for fall and winter. So those are going to be a no-go for me until fall and winter time comes. But then I'm going to use them. Um, we got Lion Brand Wool East Cakes. Now, it does have a little bit of wool in it. And in it, it is the rest is acrylic. But very similar to Mandala. It's a very lightweight three yarn. Even though it has wool, you're probably thinking, wool for spring and summer? No way. I say, yes way. Again, given the right stitch, it would, if you give it a nice airy stitch for the project you're making, make a nice lacy top, lacy shawl, uh, beautiful drape on it, nice and airy. Same with the cupcake. It is a 100% acrylic, but it is a lightweight three. The same, you know, given, given the right stitch, it'll make a beautiful project. Um... Lion Brand Comfy Cotton Blend. Another one of my favorite yarns. I've heard lots of people not like this yarn. Everybody's different. I always say it. Tons of people hate my favorite yarns. And that's okay. Because everybody's different and the world would be boring if we were all the same. But I love this yarn. I think a lot of people have told me that they don't like it because... They find that it splits. For me, I don't have a problem with it splitting. So I love this yarn. It's in my top five favorites. It's a lightweight three, but I would consider it a four weight yarn because it's thicker, in my opinion. It's more of a four weight. And it's a cotton polyester blend. Now I will be using this a lot for the spring and summer because like I said, it's one of my favorites and they do have started to making it in solid colors now. I actually am going to get ready to make a top with the solid red color. I'm going to make it with a nice lacy stitch and it's going to have a very pretty drape on it. Even if you made it with a more solid stitch, it would still work well for spring and summer projects. Um, let's see, we went over the mandala. Peaches and cream cotton. Now it is a 100% cotton yarn. This is definitely not something that would be my first choice to make garments out of. It is not an extremely soft cotton. In my opinion, it's not. I use this more for bags, uh, wash rags, pot holders, uh, dish towels, stuff like that. But you can use it for garments because I do think it softens a bit in the wash, but it's just not anything that you'll see me make a garment. I might have made one garment out of it a long time ago, but you really won't see me make anything other than, you know, what I just said, bags and wash rags and stuff like that out of it. But I mean, if this is all you have, by all means, it would work well. I mean, it's 100% cotton. Cotton will keep you cool um, during the summer and spring months. Um, now the Premier Home Cotton is in a cotton acrylic blend cotton polyester blend I'm sorry and it's a lot softer so this is something if I would probably make a garment out of not necessarily would it be my first choice no it wouldn't but it's soft enough that you could make a garment out of it this is the premier home cotton okay now my absolute favorite yarn in the whole world <laughs> lots of people hate it red heart unforgettable it is a four weight, 100% acrylic yarn. Gorgeous yarn. And this is another yarn I will definitely be using for the spring and summer. You just have to have the right stitch to be able to pull off an acrylic yarn during the spring and summer. That's only, you know, like I said, that's just my opinion. Um, it just takes the right stitch and the right project and then I think any four-way acrylic will work. I don't have a problem using acrylic yarns during the spring and summer. A lot of people won't, but I can pull it off. I think if I have the right uh, pattern, if I can make up my, you know, I make up my own pattern. So if I have the right one, can think of the right one, I don't mind. Red Heart Ombre is another one you'll probably see me use, but it'll be with a lacy stitch. Um, now... Those are from a hobby. Those are their uh, twisters. They are a lightweight two cotton blend yarn. 
and they will work very well they'll have a beautiful drape they're very lightweight um, they are a little pricey though so um, not everybody's gonna want to use them I don't know if I'll make anything out of them this spring or summer. I actually think I might make Evelyn a dress out of this one right here. A pineapple stitch dress. Thinking about that. Let me know if you think that'd be pretty in the comments. Um, Red Heart Super Saver. Now, you can use Red Heart Super Saver during the spring and summer. Everybody knows about Red Heart Super Saver. It's not my first choice for garments. Um... um Maybe a sweater for the winter if I know that they're going to be putting a shirt on underneath it, like a t-shirt. Um, but if this is, you know, um, you have this and you want to use it, just make sure you use a very lacy stitch with it. You can't use anything solid or it's just going to be too hot. Um, Caron Simply Soft is beautiful for the spring and summer, in my opinion. I use it often for baby dresses. And this is another one. Again, you just got to have that right perfect stitch for it. You can't make anything solid with it. But if you make a nice lacy shawl, it's going to have a gorgeous drape. It is very pretty yarn to use during the spring and summer. And it'll be nice and, and, and I think it's nice and lightweight using the correct stitch. So um, let me see what else I got here that I would use in the spring and the summer. Um... Ombre Life by Lion Brand. Definitely, I've made a shawl out of this before. Very, it's like a lightweight too. It would, it's great for shawls. That scarfy, I would never use that during the summer. It's a bulky five yarn, very bulky. I would not use it for anything uh, for summer projects, and I would definitely wouldn't use the Premier Parfait. It's just too thick and bulky. The Red Heart, it's a wrap. If you're familiar with that, it's almost just like the Ombre Life. It's like a lightweight two yarn. Where it will work great for, I made a shawl out of it too. Um, great for shawls or tops, you know, given, given the right stitch. Um, given the right stitch, you can make any yarn work for um, spring and summer. But I just want to caution you when using I definitely wouldn't use bulky yarns like these right here they, those are just more winter yarns and fall yarns um, these are lion brand ice cream yarns great for shawls during the spring and summer 100% acrylic but it's a lightweight three give it a nice lacy stitch and you got a pretty shawl for spring so um, these are from Joann's. They're their twister yarns. Now they are a 100% acrylic, but it is a bulky five, not something I would ever use for the spring. I'm going to save those for fall and winter. So I just kind of went over it with you a little bit to kind of, let me turn the camera back around. Okay, I just kind of went over with some of the yarns that I had in my room. Basically, I guess I just said the same thing over and over. Mostly for spring and summer. Um, you want to use a lightweight yarn. Um, and there's, you know, I use a lot of cotton, cotton blends. Make sure it's soft. The bamboo is excellent. A bamboo blend is excellent. Lime brain makes some nice bamboo blends. Um, and Hobium makes some nice bamboo yarn. Um, make sure the cotton that you use is soft. Um, any kind of cotton blend, it works well. Um, and then I said you can pull off any acrylic, four weight acrylic, as long as you use the right, you just gotta, you just gotta have that right stitch and you gotta have the right garment for it to work out, I think. But, you know, given the right stitch, I have no problem using acrylic during the spring or summer. Don't hate on me for that, but, uh, I don't have a problem using it. Um, definitely stay clear of the bulky fives and the six weights for any garments or, you know, shawls, I think, during the during spring and summer. You probably just don't want that heaviness on you. Those are more winter yarns. Um, but, of course, acrylic and cotton and bamboo, they can all be winter yarns, too, given the right stitch. You just... I guess, basically, I'm just saying any yarn can be used for any season given the right if you use the right lacy stitch for it or the right 
together stitch for it but like I did I did just mention I would probably stay clear of the bulky and the uh, super bulky yarns for spring it's a lot of weight on you so I hope my uh, hope this helps some people out I don't know it's I don't really know what to say I mean people ask me what what I use so I kind of just showed you what I use but but that's what you'll see me use this this time like I said I got a uh, ladies top going with the comfy cotton so it's gonna be it's a cotton cotton blend so it should be nice and lightweight it's a nice lacy enough stitch so but again you can make a cotton a solid stitch too cotton would work well as a solid stitch for spring and summer so now I'm just kind of blabbing blabbing on about it but I hope this gave you a little bit of help uh, for those that were asking me about it if you have any more questions you can ask me in the comments and I'll try to get to them I don't always get all those YouTube comments that come to me because I get a lot of them and sometimes YouTube filters them as spam for some reason and I don't always check those but if you have a question uh, a really good you know an honest question you want to know about a, a yarn that you have and you want to know if it'll work well for this or this or with this stitch or with this stitch I'll try to answer you the best that I can so thanks everybody for watching hopefully I helped those out that asked don't forget to hit that thumbs up button that always helps me out and don't forget to subscribe maybe give this video a share if you can I'd really appreciate it thanks everybody bye bye